Uh, you can play Fortnite. I oh, love that game. I'm sure with the amount of hours you've spent watching that game, Tommy, I think you'd be like really good at it. So I had to figure out that corner. I used to play PUBG, so it was fun. Oh, this, this lap has gone to shit. Yay, we are not winning the driver's championship. Woo! Fuck. And it was a long shot anyway. circuit through 16 corners and a lap distance of around 3.28 miles there are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and drs zones in two places so plenty of close racing then plenty of speed and plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead so with the race not far away okay lower the fuel count Glad I selected the other tire strategy because that would have been annoying. Here we go then. The formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? But we'll soon find out. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, Teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right, which ones have got it horribly wrong. I'm not even starting in the. What do I. Do I ever do? Why is it the AI always seem to have issues on that last corner on the uh, formation lap? Lights out, away we go! Ooh, I'm, I'm not liking this position. Reverse, thank you. I fucking love the AI in this game. They're just so much fun, and they know what the fuck they're doing. It's great. Please, Cody's, I beg you, fix the AI for next year. Game. Good lord. Confirmed. My race should not be over that quick. 
That's that's honestly stupid. Cause I backed out of that too. I'm gonna be so far last. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Yeah, it's casual 36 seconds back. Gonna be our third race of the day where we don't see anybody. Is it because the game punches mistakes to build it? Uh, no. Cody's fucked up when they made the game. Um, because they noticed in the previous couple games that the users were able to what you essentially call torpedo into a corner. Um, and the AI would move over and it'd be really easy to overtake. So they tried to fix it and make the AI more aggressive on defending overtakes into corners. But what it basically amounts to is it basically seems like they coded the AI so that they don't recognize the user's actually there. So the AI, like if you're wheel to wheel with them, they'll just take the apex if you're on the inside. And then if you're on the outside, they'll drive across the track and basically just take the entire freaking corner. Which is annoying because cornering, like into corners and out of corners is like the easiest way to do overtakes, but you can't do it without being absolutely taken out. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and the issue with it is, is, like, I got taken out on the first lap here. I have damage. You know, if the AI runs into my side, I'm going to get four damage, side pod damage, whatever. The AIs will be fine. Like, if they hit me from the back, I will spin. I'll get taken out. I'll hit the wall and lose my wing. They'll be fine, no damage at all. If I do the same to them... I will spin. Like, if I hit their back tire, I will spin. Or I will get wing damage. Or both. And they'll be fine. It's like, the, the contact physics also doesn't make sense, because if you do something to an AI, they'll be fine and you'll be fucked, but if they do the same thing to you, you'll be fucked and they'll be fine. So they, they, they really fucked up on something. So yeah, great. It's harder to overtake in the AI and you're getting more competitive races. But there's also a lot more races where you're just getting taken out of nowhere. They also made it so that in career mode, which is what I'm currently doing, um, 
the further along you go into seasons, um, the more OP the AI get in, at some tracks and stuff too. Um, so not even for my friend who is significantly better at this than I am, he has to lower the AI difficulty by like 10 um, to even still be able to be competitive in the career mode after, after a couple seasons. Because they really screwed up something in that too. So there's some tracks like Montreal that I could be racing like 80 AI in, at least. Um, because I'm winning it at like, you know, 20 seconds at this current difficulty. But because there's so many other tracks that the AI are just so fucking overpowered in, that if I want to have a competitive season overall, I have to take the hit. Essentially, and win races by, you know, the one race a year by like 20 seconds and have it be rather questionable. Otherwise, that's, you know, not as enjoyable for me. Because I'm going to be, you know, at the back of the pack for everything. And it's like, well, I kind of want to be winning the World Drivers' Championship by, you know, Season 8. But that's, that's not as much of an issue, because that's just, you know, you just adjust it to how you want to play. So if you want an easier career, then you just go for a lower... AI. Um, but yeah, the biggest issue is definitely just the inability to drive side by side with the AI without being randomly taken out. I mean, yes and no, because they they do have, like, the massive range of difficulty that you can have in this game, right? So if you want to, you know, be competitive midfield, then you obviously, you, you boost it up. And there is ways of testing what's actually a good um, AI difficulty for you. Because you basically just go into single-player GP do a one-shot qualifying lap at that GP at a certain, um, so say I take the, like the McLaren, McLaren's a mid-table car, um, I go in at, say, 70 AI difficulty, do a one-shot qualifying lap, and then I go, okay, if I'm finishing, like, two seconds ahead of my teammate, okay, well, I need to add like 20 AI difficulty type thing. Because you should be finishing within like a couple hundredths of a second of your teammate, not, you know, the massive gap. So there's there's that you can use to adjust and find your actual proper AI. Um, but it's just the fact that it's like, okay, we've coded the AI, so it basically seems like the user's not existent in the race when you go into corners. That's, that's where the big issue is, and it's, I'm not the only one that complains about it. I think that's like the biggest issue people have with F1 2022, or I guess just F1 22.
Because like the range, the range for AI is, is wicked. And there's like 110 levels or something. You know, like this this race literally lap one, first corner. I didn't like where I was sitting, so I backed off. And then I immediately get taken out by the AI on the outside of me that's trying to make the apex of the first corner. I get sent into the wall and have to change my wing. I'm now thirteen seconds back after all the AI I've pitted. My race has been fucked and they're they're carrying on scot free. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, hey, if you get first and you can get away on the first corner and not get taken out, then, you know, you're going to be fine for the entire race and not have any issues. But as soon as you qualify, you know, 10th or lower, because you're not going to be able to overtake as many vehicles and get, you know, away on the first lap, you know, basically you're into straight up survival mode. Yeah, unfortunately, I stream on YouTube have definitely heard me complain about the AI a lot. Especially after Twitch said that in 2022 I was in the top 2% for people that streamed F1 2022. means I stream the game only a little bit. Slowly closing the gap. 
Right on to 9.4 seconds. Considering I don't have DRS or anything. That's our yellow flag. Stroll beached. Safety car! Well, the stroll has been DQ'd. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> Going to soft tires. It's going to be a very short safety car. We're going to get a last lap safety car. Slap in. I have to. Mm, am I supposed to catch up? My, yeah, my question is, what lap does this safety car go in on? And am I going to be able to catch up before it goes in? Okay, we're good. I'm going to go full tilt now. If only it was Latifi that went out. Those are good jokes. Can find a good title from that. up to the, everybody before the safety car goes in. No, 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 don't drop me in speed, you fucking cunt. I'm not caught up yet. Let me go! Fuck, I hate this game. It's not letting me go full tilt. As soon as the safety car is supposed to go in, it like fucks your engine. It doesn't actually let you go full tilt. Like I can feel the car is going slower, it's not even getting up to 8th gear going, it's fucking straight. 
Like, how the fuck am I supposed to catch up when I can't go with a full speed? One, one lap of racing after the stage car goes in. Ah, oh, the issue is I wasn't able to catch up, though. Damn it. Saved car. So stupid that it prevented me from catching up. Fuck! Could have had ticked him at the end. Fucking bullshit. Well, at least my teammate won the drivers' championship. But if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race. <laughs> Yeah, it's just unfortunate that my, my race got fucked right at the start. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Once again, go and check out myself over on Twitch for more races as they happen and all the behind the scenes details. And we'll catch you next time.